In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at using theme designer templates inside of the slideshow creator. These templates operate slightly different than other templates you'll find in the slideshow creator. And so we'd like to highlight some of the differences in this particular tutorial. I have a host of images in the media room. And so let's get started. I'm going to click on the tools menu at the very top and choose my slideshow creator. In the pop-up screen, the first thing it wants to do is import photos. I'm going to click on that. We have three options. I can do single files, an entire folder, or I can go from my media library. Since I have mine in the media library, I'll click the third option. And it shows me everything in the library. I cannot do a select all easily, but I can hold the left mouse button down and drag through all the files and highlight them. You see the blue outline and click on OK and it will use them. Now if there is any here that I decide I don't want to use, I can simply highlight it now and then click on the garbage can and remove it and it won't be in the slideshow. So that I can also import more from another location if I want to keep adding to my list. I can control the size of the thumbnail by clicking the slider in the upper right corner above that preview screen. So I'm happy with what I'm going to do and let's click on next. It gives me my slideshow styles. Now for this tutorial, we're going to focus on the difference when you use anyone that has the word theme designer behind it because these operate slightly differently than others. We're going to focus on the differences, not everything that can be done. I'm going to click on this last one here, Pastels, and it has a slight blue line around it. At this point, I'm tempted to do some things that will not be fruitful working with the theme designer. I can add music by clicking this icon here and then select any music background music file I want. And I've selected this one here. I'll just click this and now I have audio. I'll click on OK. Now, if I click on Slideshow Preferences, because I have music selected, I can choose Fit Photos to Music or Fit Music to Photos. I can also control the timeline order or the date taken. The problem with the Theme Designer template is no matter what I pick here for these two, it will ignore it. Whatever, whatever I pick for music, it will ignore it. Inside the template, I can select the music, but whatever I do here, does not apply. So if you're using a theme designer template, don't waste your time adding music or controlling these settings here because it will ignore them. Now that you know that, I'm going to click on Next and it will create my slideshow. Now this slideshow starts out with a blue screen, but as I scroll through it, you get to see what happens. Now in this slideshow, we have lots of titles. So in order to make the titles work, I need to customize the slideshow. So I'm going to magnify this screen. And now I'm going to click on the Customize button in the lower left. This is where we can add music. If you look at the upper right, it says No Music, and this is where I can find the music. Now, in some of these, music is embedded in the program. So if I click on Default, it will give me the embedded music in this particular template. If I don't want that, if I want my own music, I can pick on Imported. Then I can select the music file or files I want to use and click on Open. And it will use my file as the one for music. So that's how you adjust for the music here. When you're looking at the screen, you see that you can change the order of these elements. All you need to do is drag one of these sections and hold down the mouse and you'll see the blue line move to their left or right and you can change the order of the segments. You can continue from the last clip in the previous se sequence or turn this on or off. You can also remove a clip by right clicking on it and clicking on remove. When it comes to titles, which is a tricky part of using these templates, let me show you what I found that works. You look at the upper right corner on each of these segments and the timeline here is only for one of these boxes at the top. I happen to have the third one highlighted here. I have two text titles available. To find out where they occur, 
to determine what I need to put in them, what I do is I simply move my slider and I go through until I see a title. Now here's one and it says my title. So that corresponds to text number one. If I type over it, it will refresh and here is my title on this one. And if I slide farther, it's going to give me another one. This is add your text here. You notice it's in three different rows. And so in order to fit the shape that's behind it, I need to do the same thing. I need to be aware of what I'm using. And now you see the text that I typed in in the titles. So what I need to do if I want to modify the titles when I'm using the theme designer template for my slideshow is I have to take each of these segments. Let's go back to the first one, for example which starts out with a blue screen. And we're going to play it. Uh, here's another one. This is called My Title. Now it's a bit confusing because both of these are called My Title, so I have to figure out which one it is. I'll say Welcome. And now it should refresh so that Welcome is now in the circle. So then I have to move and slide through this one as well. Here's the second one, which is called My Title. And again, I would change this. So that's the way in which you have to adjust your work in this particular kind of setting when you're working with theme designer templates in the slideshow to make the titles work efficiently. I'm going to click on OK, pretending we're all done with it, and I'll show you what happens next. We'll go back to minimize the screen. When I'm finished, I click on Next, and then I have three options. I can export the video, create a disk, or do advanced editing. The third option is my common one. Now that I have it on the timeline, it will act like any other kind of video clip. I will have audio and everything else that I wanted before. So this is what it looks like. Now what happens if I come to this and I realize there's something I want to change? For example, here I have a My Title. And obviously I didn't change all of the titles for the tutorial. If I want to go back, I simply double click on it and then I'll have this warning screen pop up will remind me that any edits I made while it was on the timeline will be lost, not the edits internally. But if I'm OK with that, I click on the Yes button to continue, and it will return me to the Theme Designer. So I can go back and forth if I want to, realizing I will lose any edits I've made once it was on the timeline. So I'm going to click on No because we're good there. So now we can take this particular slideshow that we have done and make other modifications, modify my entire project of which it may be a part, and then I'm done. But that's a little bit about just some of the differences when you're working with the theme designer templates inside Slideshow Creator in CyberLink PowerDirector.